بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم این اسلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس وی آر ہیونگ سم ویری انٹرسٹنگ سیشنز ان دا کمپیریزن آف کارپوریٹ گورننس کوڈس ان دا کنٹریز آف بنگلہ دیش انڈیا سری لنکا اینڈ پاکستان وی بین سینگ ہاؤ دی بورڈ آف ڈائریکٹرز ہاؤ دی آڈٹ کمیٹی ہاؤ دی ریمونریشن کمیٹی اینڈ آلسو دا نامینیشن کمیٹی ہیو اے ڈفرینس بٹوین آل فور کنٹریز ان مینی ایریاز وی سی دیٹ دیر آر گرے ایریاز اینڈ امبیگوٹی ایون ان پاکستان اینڈ وٹ وی کین لرن is that through this comparison maybe those gray areas should be covered in our corporate governance codes learning from india sri lanka uh, and bangladesh so again it is a cross learning process it is also a process of ensuring better implementation and better governance so that is what we are looking at today we're going to go on to part 3 which is going to basically look at the rights of shareholders disclosure and some other miscellaneous issues now when we look at the participation in the decision regarding fundamental corporate change then in bangladesh and pakistan it is not specifically covered while in india and sri lanka it is covered and again we see that the rights of the shareholder is extremely important voting rights uh, not specifically covered in bangladesh amazingly but properly covered in india sri lanka and pakistan and asking questions in the annual general meeting is not covered in bangladesh again giving a lot of gray area while in india sri lanka and pakistan we see that it is adequately covered protection regarding whistleblowers not covered in um, bangladesh and not covered in sri lanka but adequately covered uh, in pakistan and india actually i would like to mention over here that uh, when we talking about whistleblowers then whistleblowing is basically when someone tends to highlight uh, some corruption uh, some nepotism some favoritism some uh, some unnecessary wastage some dereliction of duty or something wrong uh, which is being done within the company and that goes against the ethical codes and the values and uh, the different uh, code of conduct of that particular organization now again what we see is is that when we're talking about protection then uh, in pakistan uh, it is even covered through the nab laws and it is also covered through uh, the different company laws that exist within pakistan and therefore uh, what we see is that now a new law has also been drafted and that law is specifically called the protection of whistleblower so again what we see is that very adequately covered in pakistan and uh, therefore this is something good and this is uh, a very important instrument to ensure good governance and also eradication of corruption uh, ladies and gentlemen moving a little bit ahead in the comparison uh, employee participation not specifically covered in bangladesh but adequately covered in india sri lanka and pakistan obtaining a certificate of compliance status well it's affirmative across all four countries disclosure to significant material change again it is covered across bangladesh india sri lanka and pakistan disclosure related to internal control it's the same across all four countries and it is adequately covered and then disclosure related to party transactions it is adequately covered between all four countries so ladies and gentlemen uh, what we see is is that when we talked about the board of directors when we talked about the audit committee and the remuneration committee and the nomination committee and then we move towards the shareholders and uh, disclosure and other related issues then we see in bangladesh india sri lanka and pakistan there are more similarities than there are differences the differences are very uh, are very small minute uh, and in some areas insignificant uh, but definitely there is a lot which all of us can learn from each other uh, there is a similar culture there is a similar texture of doing business there is a similar mindset of doing business so therefore uh, all four countries bangladesh india sri lanka and pakistan can learn from each other and especially pakistan uh, can adopt those different guidelines uh, in which uh, it has not covered something or it is partially covered or there is some gray area or some ambiguity we can learn from all of them and then a very important area is that we develop case studies all four countries and we can share them uh, between ourselves so that there can be more protection which is given to the stakeholders and to the shareholders and then also most importantly to the company so that they can do good business and there can be fair competition and there can be the value of meritocracy and honesty and truthfulness uh, in the corporate sectors of pakistan sri lanka india and bangladesh thank you so much